Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you five different ways you can edit your videos faster in Adobe Premiere Pro. So right here, I have some behind the scenes footage of my last photo shoot. You can check the photos out on my Instagram if you wanna see the final product. Uh, but basically, if I were to turn this video into a recap or something like that, I would use these five techniques in order to help me edit faster. So the first one is a shortcut that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, it's actually two shortcuts, which basically do the same things. So it's the shortcut, the letter Q and the letter W. Basically what they do is they ripple delete everything before or after where your cursor is to the next cut. So what I mean by this is if you press Q right here, let's just select on this clip, press Q. You can see everything before the cursor was deleted. So let's go right here and press Q. So everything before where my mouse is right here is deleted. So press Q, boom. And so basically it'll only ripple delete until the next cut. So if you press Q from here, it'll only delete until here. So for W, it'll ripple delete everything on the right side instead of the left side. So everything after the cursor. So there you can see. So this is really helpful and it's very fast for editing. Uh, most of the times people will do this, press C, click, delete, and then delete this in order to ripple delete. And that takes a lot longer. And then there's other people who will click, delete, and then drag it because they don't know how to ripple delete. Now, all you have to do is press Q or W depending on where your cut is or where you want your cut. So if you press, you know, W, there you go. The next shortcuts I'll be talking about are the letters J, K, and L. Basically, they rewind, they pause, and they forward. Um, so, you know, these are very small things and you may think, you know, it won't help out, but it's a lot faster to press, you know, J to rewind than move your mouse or to press one of the rewind, you know, step back one frame buttons. So if you were to press press K, you could pause easily, you know, your space button, but there's no keys around the space button that do the same things as J and L. If you just have your fingers near J, K and L, you can basically just keep it there. So with your left hand right here, you can just rewind. So press J to rewind, or you can forward with L. This is a lot faster than dragging your mouse back and forth or using one of these toggles, right? So what I usually do is I'll keep my left hand on JKL and I'll keep my right hand on the mouse. So if I need to go back, I'll do this instead of having to move it with my right hand. So to clarify again, um, to pause a video, you wanna press K. To forward it, you wanna press L. And to rewind it, you wanna press J. The next tip I have for you guys is to use presets. This saves a lot of time, but not just use other people's presets, but if you have uh, you know, something that you like that you created using you know, keyframes, you can save that as a preset as well. This is really helpful because you don't have to do that same thing on every single clip. Instead, you can just save a preset and then paste it onto something else. Personally, I don't create my own presets. I find it a lot easier to just buy other presets and use it because it's a lot less time for me. Uh, but if you want to customize it to your liking, then um, that's all up to you. So perhaps you want to maybe zoom in um, every five frames. So let's just set a keyframe at the beginning as 100 um, and then move five frames right, set it as 105 and then uh, move five frames right again and then set it as 110, move five, frame, move five frames uh, right again and 115, five frames, 120, five frames, 125. And perhaps you want this right you want a preset that will zoom in every five frames by a variable of five so if we zoom up on here you can see it basically makes it zoom in you know it's not a big preset or anything but perhaps you want that right all you have to do is right click on motion right here and press save preset and we're gonna name it zoom and let's just press ok and now if you go to your effects right here you can search up zoom and it'll be right here under your presets. If you made a preset under opacity, you would right click on opacity. If you made um, you know, a preset under something else, you would right click on that, like Luigi color or something like that, you would right click on that. So if we go over here and we wanna place the preset, we just drag it and does that for us. Let's actually make it a smaller clip so you can see the difference. So right here, I, I don't see any zooming in. We just drag it on and now it zooms in. So my next tip is for synchronizing audio. So if you have uh, multiple audio devices uh, recording the same thing, so perhaps you're speaking through a mic, but you also have a camera recording you and you wanna sync up that audio, all you have to do is put them on your timeline, 
highlight them, right click and press synchronize. And then you wanna press audio and whatever audio track you want um, everything to synchronize with, you press okay and there you go. This would be helpful with, you know, music videos because you would want the actual audio layer, you know, in high quality and not audio from a speaker. So as you can see here, if you zoom in, you can see that all the audio is lined up perfectly. So right here, while I'm editing the video that you're watching right now, I have audio from my screen recorder, I have audio from my audio recorder, and then I have audio from my actual camera. The last tip I have for you guys is to use adjustment layers. Um, usually people use this uh, for color grading. Uh, pretend you have like 20 different clips, right? And you wanna color grade using maybe Lumichi Color or some other third party software. If you were to you know, increase contrast, increase highlights, stuff like that, and you want to apply it to all your clips instead of you know going through each one and adjusting everything, you can just create the edits on an adjustment layer and then stretch it over all the clips and all the clips will have that same color grade or the same effects that are applied on that adjustment layer. Some people will do this for effects as well. They'll place um, a preset or something on an adjustment layer so that all the clips have the same you know, effect. So to create an adjustment layer, all you wanna do is go over to your project bin right here and then press this and press adjustment layer. Press okay and you just wanna drag it over everything or you know whatever clips you want you know the same effects to be applied on and click on this and then make the adjustments. Maybe you want it to be like very, very bright like this. I don't know. And maybe no saturation. You can see that the other clips have the same look. But if we didn't place the adjustment layer over them, it'd be normal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. My name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.